I won't lie to you, it's been a very long school year. We'd like to hope that you all learn something, but more importantly, we think that you have taught us something. Aww. Sorry. <laughs> How's everybody doing? <laughs> Everybody's on that sort of downslope of realizing that it's almost over. So I will get right to the morning announcements. The conference center will remain open until 9 p.m. this evening. So if you want to do some gaming, pre or post uh, dinner, you still have some time. After that point, we're going to have to start packing things up. Uh, both booking for early booking forms and uh, all performer and Joko Cruise Crazy merch will be available at a table in the promenade on deck 5 until 6 p.m. dinner time. So you do still have time. We have met plenty more forms uh, for the booking forms. Uh, if you have not gotten a chance to do so yet, you'll, uh, you'll be able to. You just need to do that by 6. There have been some questions as to... Uh, there have been some uh, non-Joko Cruise crazy passengers who have been inquiring uh, of some of you whether or not they are allowed to sign up using those forms. They actually are. They don't qualify for the very most of the, the returning monkey discounts and things like that, but they can qualify for the Royal Caribbean hundred dollar room credit. So they can use those forms. Uh, if anyone asks you, they will need to list uh, their credit card number and an email and a phone number because we won't have any other record of them. But feel free to encourage them to join us because the bigger we grow, the awesomer we get. There have been some questions regarding getting receipts for those of you, uh, those of you who handed uh, your, your pre-booking forms to a sea monkey. Most of you should have gotten paper receipts made right then. Um, in order to facilitate the process, uh, we will be emailing receipts to everyone post cruise. But if you have any questions or concerns as to whether or not we have definitely processed you, we're going to be posting a list of cabin num of your current cabin numbers and initials, so that we're not revealing personal information. Uh, both It'll be both at the Promenade Merchandise and Booking Desk, and there will also be one outside the Conference Center. So if you want to double check and make sure that we've gotten you, that we haven't missed you, you can check there. Uh, and if you still have any further concerns beyond that, you can call the Joko Cruise Crazy office. That's uh, it's 1640 for any phone. Yay, early booking! And now, a brief announcement from John Hodgman. Hello, friends and foes alike. I don't know if you heard uh, the news. I was up in the Windjammer. I just heard that there has been an outbreak of norovirus. No, it's for real. An outbreak of norovirus in New York, Madrid, Moscow, San Francisco, <laughs> Quebec City, and uh, all of uh, Thailand. Norovirus tricked us while we were here in attack land. <laughs> all world governments have all world governments have fallen, and we, and we are not allowed to return. Where it only so. Now, once again, Ragnarok did not happen. Didn't even happen when it was called Ragnarok last weekend. I'm doubly shamed. And so I do still have some Ragnarok survival kits available. Stockpiled. How many of you have a uh, Ragnarok survival kit? Okay, good. All right, you guys are going to be mad at me in a second. If you don't know what a Ragnarok survival kit is, this was uh, the, the box set that I put out of, of the DVD of my Netflix special, Ragnarok, a special extended edition of the DVD, of the special, I should say, the only DVD edition, as well as some things you need to survive uh, the apocalypse as I laid it out in the special, including um, Hodgman brand survival mayonnaise, uh, a urine flask. Uh, uh, to ensure continuity of Hodgman, my consciousness was downloaded onto a thumb drive, uh, which is an hour and 20 minutes of me staring into a screen. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> to, a, to a secret new John Darnielle song, 
Uh, also, uh, it, uh, 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 a DNA sample from me uh, was included in the Ragnarok Survival Kit for cloning purposes so that you could remake me later. Uh, by which I mean a, a core mustache sample. I literally took mustache clippings and by hand put them into test tubes for you. <laughs> They're really from my face. I'm not gonna lie to you, there's a little chin in there as well. But it's, it's, it's all the same DNA. And then a, a, not, a completely non-ironic, non-joke, beautiful Hodgman brand fragrance that I work with drum fragrances to make. It is unisex cologne. Uh, in, this, in the show, I talk a lot about uh, how, why it's important to keep animals in your survival compound, like uh, goats and rabbits and sperm whales. I talk a lot about ambergris, and so I thought, and ambergris, of course, is a perfume fixative, so I thought I would call the fragrance ambergris by John Hodgman, but then I realized that a much better joke was to call it sperm by John Hodgman. <laughs> So that I could set it up later that I could release another fragrance that would uh, be, uh, would have a picture of two sailors on it, and it would be called Semen by John Hodgman. So that I could say, if you like my sperm, you're going to love my semen. <laughs> that's, still, that's still in the works. In any case, and it's all in the heart. You are treading on dangerous ground there, John Hodgman. Lay off our bit, please. Oh. No, I'm sorry. I patented it, so <laughs> you're over now. <laughs> Unless you pay me one million dollars, uh, and it's all in a—it's all in a, a, a hard case uh, uh, go bag that you can take with you in case something should happen. So all these things, and I made 500 of them, only 500 of them, and they're all signed and numbered by me. And we've sold quite a few of them, but we do have some left. And because you've all been so wonderful, the normal price is $150 for all of that, which I think is pretty good because the cologne itself is flammable. But, uh, <laughs> but uh, for, for you guys and you guys alone, only on the ship, um, uh, you can have it for $99. And the way you do it is you go to the website bit.ly slash survive Ragnarok. It's all over my website, johnhodgman.com. Um, and then when you order it, there's a coupon code. You don't have to do it. I'm strongly encouraging it. But you don't have to do it, but there's a coupon code. I was going to make the, I was gonna make the, the code uh, uh, semen, but it's gross and sexist. So I decided it would be sea friends. Sea friends. C A F R I N E. You know how to spell it. Anyway. <laughs> All one word, $99 Ragnarok Survival Kit. I put a lot of love into it, and I would love for you guys to have it. And I, I'm not making a lot of money on it. It's just for fun. So, so thank you for applauding my advertisement. <laughs> um, I would also just like to say that, uh, that Hot Tub Office Hours will be occurring at 9 p.m. tonight, <laughs> concurrent with the cocktail. Uh, uh, hour, so it's going to get dangerous. Um, there was some question about whether or not hot tub office hours were going to happen tonight. The question being whether or not I felt like doing it. Guess what? I totally feel like doing it. That's been a lot of fun. I hope that John Roderick will show up. I hope that maybe some of the other performers will show up. There's another 24 person hot tub across the way if you want to do a shadow hot tub. <laughs> Weirdos. Uh, and finally, the office hours have been so much fun, I wish that I could continue doing them all throughout the year. Instead, I do a show, uh, a, an unannounced show in, in Brooklyn called Secret Society, which is sort of like, sort of like hot tub office hours. Uh, it's about three times as large, so it's still small, like 75 people can come to it, and it's in, it, there's no water in it, it's in a basement. But it's a lot of fun, and um, if you email me, and the email at, on my website, hodgman at maximumfun.org, that goes directly to me. If you email me, and you put, and, and, and even if you don't buy a Ragnarok Survival Kit, and you put C-Friend in the email, or C-Friends in the email, uh, I'll put you on a special mailing list, and I'll email you the secret link to, to get tickets to the next Secret Society. They go very quickly because it's just a very small room. If any of you are ever in New York or you just want to make sure you will hear about it uh, before anyone else. So that's uh, just because I hope some of you will come and see it because it'll be nice to see you again. So that's it. I'm not a monster, you see? I'm a nice guy. Just buy my fucking merch or I hate you.
To be fair, he is a little bit of a monster. Um, also, one, one note I forgot to mention, the, the following people, uh, for various reasons, we need a little bit more information regarding your early booking. If you can, uh, before 6 p.m., report to the promenade table. Uh, they may need some more information. Uh, Anna Wiss, Margaret Garcia, Colin Taylor, Catherine Cornell, Raymond Livingstone, Jeffrey Johnson, Aaron Miller, and Keith Statenfield, if you are here. Before 6 p.m., if you can go to the promenade, they can just get things squared away for you. Uh, if for some reason you know them and they are not here, if you could spread the word to them, just so we can get them taken care of. Uh, a brief shout out to our official photographer, Adam Moore, and our official videographer, Chris Dillon. You'll be able to see all of the official photos from Joko Cruise Crazy 4 at his website, adammoore.com. Uh, and is Chris here, Chris Dillon? Anywhere? He's busy editing. Uh, he is going to be circulating today, uh, hopefully among the various office hours and at the party, uh, and would love to be uh, collecting very brief, like, 20-second testimonials from anyone who would be willing to do so about your favorite memories from Joko Cruz Crazy 4. If you see him around, uh, let him know if, if you are interested in doing that kind of thing. Uh, speaking of office hours, to repeat, uh, to the best of my knowledge, these are the remaining office hours for today. Will Wheaton at the Dog and Badger, 4 to 5 p.m., Hank Green uh, at Vintages, 4 to 5 p.m. Peter Sagal, 5 to 6 p.m. at Oliver Twist, up on 14. Uh, and Jack Conti immediately following this concert, roughly 3.30 at the Rock Climbing Wall. Right. Uh, and Grant Imahara, 5 until 6 p.m. at the Dog and Badger, and there will also be a FARC meetup slash drink up at the same time. That's gonna go well. <laughs> Couple more final notes. Um, you all should have received feedback forms in your room. Uh, if you can't take the time to fill those out accurately uh, and thoroughly, and especially if you feel you have been treated well by your staff, this is a very important element of the cruise for them. Uh, you can fill those out and I believe you can leave them in your room and there's also uh, various stations, certainly by guest services and I believe possibly by the gangways where you can drop those off. Also, your gratuities have already been included in your price, as has been said earlier, uh, in, in your booking, the, the standard gratuities have already been included, which covers uh, your, your dining servers and your room stewards. But if there is any service you felt has gone particularly above and beyond, you should have received uh, several of these uh, wow uh, envelopes. Yeah, that's the word. Um, if there's someone in particular you would like to recognize with an extra gratuity, you can put that in here uh, and get that person's name and it should have your, your cabin number on there. It is not required, but it is certainly something you are welcome to do. Uh, if for some reason uh, your gratuities have been showing up on your room bill, uh, check with guest services because they should not have been. We just don't want, to make, we don't want anybody to be double billed or anything like that. Finally, uh, we wanted to take a moment to recognize several of the department uh, heads here on the Independence and with uh, Royal Caribbean. Uh, I don't know if he is here or not, but our group account manager and main contact with Royal Caribbean during the uh, during the cruise, Manny Balanza. Manny, are you here? He is not, but he has essentially been our fixer, our Mr. Wolf, uh, and doer of many things and helping helping make the target trains run on time. So big hand for Manny. Uh, and a number of these department heads are, I believe, standing in the back. If you can wave when I call your name and be acknowledged, we want to thank all of them. Our group coordinator, uh, Irina Surzan. Uh, from the broadcast department, Alberto Maritato and Kelly Felix. Food and Beverage Director Johan uh, Petuchnig. Sorry, I don't know what that's going on. Uh, IT Ops Manager Sylvian Pavel. That's right, that's the guy that's been keeping you online all week. <laughs> Shore Excursions Manager, Fabio Lombardi. Uh, 
And many of your favorite person, uh, many of your people's favorite person on board, the bar manager, Michael Sophos. Is there anyone back there who I have forgotten off this list? I do not want to forget any of our department heads. Leon, am I missing anyone? No, we're good. So thank you again to the entire staff here at the Independence. It has been a great, great cruise. Thank you all. And with that, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Jonathan Colton.